I'll um, the short duty guy, guys. Welcome. It's Monday. Uh, it still feels a little weird because it's what, like six thirty nine and the sun's out. Still a little weird, but uh, nonetheless, let's get down to business. Uh, I thank Scattered Comics for sponsoring this episode, and also big news from Scattered Comics coming out. Uh, Sound of Penguins, the all ages science fiction comic book, has launched their Kickstarter. Um, I'm going to put the links in the description. Uh, also, you can go to either A, Scattered Comics, scatteredcomicbooks.com, or Scattered Comic Books' Facebook page, and check out more information about Cyber Penguins and how you can help them make their comic book, because it's already, it's being drawn, it's being written, if they just need help to produce it. So, that is over with. Now, now let's get to some business. Uh... Marvel. There's rumors that Marvel one may not be at Comic Con this year. Now, hang on. People that have bought Comic Con badges and are willing to spend all of their money, well, have spent all of their money to get these badges just to wait in the Hall H line for Marvel Amazement. It's a rumor, so don't get all angry and everything. Now, the second biggest question is. Will DC pick up the slack? Will DC show stuff that they want to show, or are they going to fall? Are they going to fall short, and they're just going to show the same stuff that they've been showing for the past two years? Otherwise, either way, if those two happen, if Marvel show uh, falls short and doesn't show anything new about like the Justice League or Aquaman or Wonder Woman or the Flash. Hall H is going to be very empty, and I'm, Marvel's the only thing that has everything going, so the only reason that Hall H would be packed is for Marvel, so if DC doesn't show up and just unload everything that they need to unload, Hall H is going to be kind of dim, but at the same time, fear not that if Marvel is, if it is true that it's not going to be at San Diego. Um, they may be at Disney 23, or they may be at that movie theater that they were at last year when they unveiled some more Marvel things. Or, even better, they may go to uh, New York. I almost said Sacramento Comic Con. That would have been amazing. Um, they're going to head to New York Comic Con and unveil everything there, which would blow New York Comic Con up so much because... Everyone would find that out, and everyone would want to get to New York, and it would be a awesome Comic-Con. I cannot speak because I worked out for three hours. Didn't need to know that, but just letting you know. Um, yeah, I that's, I don't know. It's going to be a very, it's going to be very weird if Marvel doesn't show up to Comic-Con. I am kind of going to make Comic-Con a little worried because that's the Hall H line. There's no one, no one else, okay, for a while, you know, there have been big movies, there have been Lord of the Rings, there's been the Doctor Who 50th anniversary, they've been all that stuff, and that's fine, but at the same time, everyone is waiting in that line to see Marvel, to see what movies are coming out, see what new actors are going to be playing in what roles, uh, they also revealed the Avengers, they also had... You know, Robert Downey Jr. do his thing. Uh, Tom Hiddleston was Loki. It was amazing. Now, that it, it may not happen. Who knows? But still, it's going to happen somewhere else. Who knows? I will let you know more about it as I read it. But, fear not. Comic Con will still be great. Uh, Alright, guys. That is it for today. Uh, again, I thank Scary Comics for sponsoring this episode. Also, head over to TBP Studios and check out other amazing videos and other amazing podcasts and other amazing video game news that they have because they work really hard at their stuff and they want to sh share it with you guys. Uh, and yeah, and I thank you for watching and please hit the subscribe button or like button if you like this episode and I will see you all Wednesday. Have a great night.